Hello dear students. Yesterday we got to know about what is light. What is the source of light and in simple we have studied about what is reflection of light and the smooth surface as well as the polished surface of the mirror. Today let us study more about a texture. Dear students, the light is the world as we know, as we know through the senses. The sense of vision is nothing but only through the light. And the God has gifted eyes to sense the light and have the vision what we look. Now, it is only when the light from an object enters our eyes that we see it. The light might have been either emitted by the object or reflected by it. As last class we have studied the source of light. In that luminous as well as non-luminous bodies also we have studied. Right? It includes the light might have been either emitted by the objects or reflected by it. Some more important terminologies that is related to the light is light enables us to see. Light helps in the vision. Light is emitted from source such as the sun. Ultimately, children, sun is the source of light. The word usually refers to visible light which is visible to the human eye and is responsible for the sense of sight. This is the basic what we are studying from first standard that is sense organs. In that sense organs, eye is also one of the vital character which plays in the vision. So, dear students, let, me, let us discuss how do we see objects. Okay? Our eyes alone do not allow us to see. Light from the source of faults source falls on an object then bounces off onto the eyes that is how it builds. Yesterday I have explained you with the ray of a beam how light bounces back from the object. Today let's see how sunlight is falling on the flag and the rays of the sunlight is bouncing Concept, we are going to study about the light today in your 16th chapter in class 8th standard. Dear students, you know what is reflection of light? Scientifically, we can define the reflection is the light is going to bounce back from the object. The light rays is going to bounce back from the object. In alternatively, bouncing back of the light rays is called as reflection. In your textbook, laws of reflections are mentioned. Now, look at the laws of reflection. Reflection, light gets reflected off, bouncing back of the surfaces. Any surface that is really smooth polished is called as mirror. It acts as a mirror. So, the phenomenon theory of light bouncing back surfaces is called as reflection. Dear students, let me explain you. The more surfaces, smooth, smooth polished surfaces, diffused surfaces and unpolished surfaces of the mirror. How the light reflects. Look at the mirror. Mirror is nothing but the smooth polished surface where the incident ray falls on the smooth surface of the mirror and reflected ray will be at the straight line. Look at the angle what it forms. This diagram, the incident ray and the reflected ray, the bouncing back of the light you can see here and the angle is formed here. In this, details of the angle is being studied in your NCRT 10th standard class. Okay, the light lesson is only. Now, coming back to the peculiar reflection. Here, look at the surface of the mirror. Okay, it is uneven. When the reflection rays falls on the incident, sorry, incident rays, when it is falls on the peculiar surfaces, it will 
bounce back as it is with the straight line and coming back to the third that is diffused reflection look at the surface of the object that is completely uneven and unsmooth here when incident rays falls on the unsmooth or diffused diffused surfaces here look at the reflection rays it will be uneven it is extracted from the diffused surface and it is diverged all the way it will get reflected look at the incident ray and look at the reflected rays here you can make out the difference how the reflection takes place in the mirror mirror and peculiar and diffused now let's study about law of reflection reflection is the ray of a light that strikes a reflecting surface is called the incident ray and the ray that gets reflect reflected back is called as reflected ray an object which falls the sunlight it is falling on a object that is called as an incident ray and the ray which is getting reflected from the object it is called as reflected ray the second one is the imaginary line that is perpendicular to the reflecting surface is called as normal okay it is an imaginary what the angle is formed then the imaginary line that is perpendicular to the reflecting surface is called as the normal third one is the angle of incidence okay in the first polished mirror we have seen that angle of reflection is angle of incidence is formed the angle of incidence is angle r is the angle between the incident ray and the normal the angle of reflection angle r is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal surface now the fourth point of reflection laws of reflection is laws of reflection the angle of incidence angle i is always equal to the angle of reflection dear students this formula you have to remember because you are going to study in physics light lesson in 10th standard also you have the sums on the light lesson also okay the angle of the incidence and the angle of reflection and the normal all lie in the same plane when we we are going to calculate this the light rays when we are going to study about the laws of reflection when you are going to study in higher section the astronomy when you are going to study about the sun about the lunar eclipses uh, this solar eclipses when you are going to study that time the law of reflection is useful dear students 